Velotrek is rolling out with a new cargo e-bike called Packer. This new addition to the collection comes with interesting features. Let's unbox this new Packer 1 model and see what we have here. This is a pretty big bike, but it doesn't weigh that much. It doesn't feel heavy. Massive long frame loaded with a lot of features, increasing the comfort and capabilities, loading more cargo at a lower level, increasing control, stability, and comfort of the ride here. I cannot stress this enough. Veltrek is on a mission to help more people rediscover the joy of riding and increase utility in your daily activities. From previous reviews, we can see Veltrek is offering high quality products at much lower prices compared to competition. With this bike, you have access to multiple accessories allowing you to customize this e-bike in various configurations for everything. In a big city like New York, where you try to ditch your car because it is so hard to find parking and if you find it so expensive, you can customize your bike for everyday needs, pretty much ditching your car. Powered by a refined VeloPower Drive System H75, which advertised to deliver more power, more range, more fun, we'll test that later on. We have here maximum payload capacity, 440 pounds, rear cargo load, 176 pounds. I think we can do more than that. I like the sky blue color, very nice paint job, looks beautiful. The bike looks massive, but it's so light. The complete bike stock with our accessories only weighs 75 pounds. But so far, all accessories, assembly was fast and easy. As always, great packaging, plenty of instructions, packed so well, looks really, really good. So far, I like the setup. Now the charger packed and labeled, which is really cool. I like that. And instructions. And you also have a wall mount. 48 volts, 3 amps, high quality charger. Nice design, and you have this uh, side uh, grooves to Oh look, the branding, really cool to insert into wall mount. Full size cargo step for frame, front 26 by 2.4 inch wheel, rear 20 by 3 inch wheel for lower cargo deck height, housing a 750 watt rear hub motor, peaking 1200 watts and 75 newton meter of torque, supported by 48 volt 14.4 amp hour, UL 2271 certified batteries, as well as UL 2849 certification for the entire e-bike. Front suspension over 3.15 inches of travel, which makes for extremely comfortable ride with plenty of space and maximum low capacity of 440 pounds enough room to carry bundles of cargo with plenty of accessories for you to choose from top speed comes set up as a class 2 e-bike limited to 20 miles an hour i unlocked it to class 3 reaching 24 25 miles an hour on flats the torque and acceleration it's extremely powerful on packer one more power than electric expedition that I review a while back I can reach on XP about 19-20 miles on the throttle. On the Packer 1, I can reach 24-25 miles an hour with extra cargo, just on the throttle. My friend here is over 210 pounds and the bike is still accelerating past 23 miles an hour and no resistance. The front is stable and comfortable to ride and this cargo bike can push more than advertised limit. Range. I weighed 225 pounds and I was riding the maximum fifth level assist. Lots of braking and acceleration due to so many lights and pedestrians everywhere in the city. But I was able to cover 34.9 miles in range, which is insane. I usually get 25, on average 30, 35 miles in range from a bigger battery, like 20 amp hour capacity or dual setups. This bike only has 14.4 amp hour capacity. The results are impressive. And if you ride outside the city on the bike trail without stopping at lights, you can get 40 plus, close to 50 miles in range easily. Let's take a closer look at the bike now. Good grips, hardware to secure them, high quality throttle, 3.5 inch display, the same good quality console, and we have five levels of assist, ring bell. Here we have more uh, stats and specs, and we have a very nice shifter. Finally, Veltrick compared to the previous models upgraded that. We have hydraulic disc brakes, nice levers. Again, high quality. And there are four piston brakes, 180 millimeters rotors. This front fork, adjustability, rebound, lockout, 3.2 inches of travel. You can see here a little bit of oil mark. Very comfortable. Step through frame, the battery UL certified. Very nice paint job. All the edges, everything nicely done. I like this pocket here. We can put a lot of stuff here. Your water. I have my camera gear, my pouch here. You can also do a custom battery and wire this in parallel and get way more range than stock, which is useful in case if you have to hold a lot of cargo. Very long seat post, comfortable seat. 
If I have only a few of the accessories, the kids bar, the padded seat, the rack in the back, and foot packs. Nicely encased with this plastic enclosure. All wires nicely hidden. 20.3 inch wheel in the back and 26 inch wheel in the front. And this is what's important here. This is a full frame size cargo bike. My favorite previous model was the electric Expedition, but no suspension. So when you load up 200, 300 pounds, not having suspension, all that weight, it's moving. The biggest advantage in this design is the big wheel in the front that absorbs all the impacts and suspension with massive travel that dissipates all that impact energy, making for a very comfortable ride. And the cargo placed lower increases stability. Very clever design. We have the front basket, can load up up to 15 kilograms. Plastic fenders, nice quality fenders. I like these fenders in the back that plastic enclosure so the bike stock the weight comes with no accessories it's only 75 pounds this is a huge bike which is very light for this size we have adjustable uh, stamp here in the front and you can see here the angle how much you can go up and down at first i wasn't sure how to adjust the stamp but veltrick has an assembly video on their youtube page that helped me out so the correct way is to loosen up the side screws plates holding the stem and after there's one more screw underneath here once this last screw is loose and you can move the stem to a desirable angle or height that is comfortable for you if you have kids getting this child safety balustrade is a great option you can have a padded seat in the back or get a second front padded seat for the second child that's first scenario or second option is to install the padded seat in the front and install this type of seat in the back increase comfort and safety for both children good quality light i have to move the wiring organize it and move this light in the front let's check out the lights really far through white spill very powerful light i'll try to adjust it lower so you guys can see really concentrated when it's down and when you you know spread it out and you rise the light it's really covering a lot really good light also bright Now the only problem here when I turn on the light, the cables, I'll try to remove them so you guys can see, I have to play with that. If I move the cable, it's much better definition, right, on the sides. So really good light, I'm really happy with it. Really powerful. This rear seat pads are really comfortable. It's almost like two inches thickness. And there's two of them. So you can put a child in the front here, handlebars to, you know, to grab and hold themselves and you can put an adult in the back or you can replace this and put a basket there's so many options here and uh, you have this plastic panel all the way here from front to back and the foot packs small size uh, front chain ring to you know keep that high torque and when you load this bike let's say 200 pounds really helps a lot gives you a very good very powerful start it's not really set up for speed so 25 miles an hour if you have no load it's very easy reachable if you have a load it's definitely not safe to go uh, that fast with a child or uh, a person in the back but uh, it's doable it's doable you can load it up a lot very good uh, frame construction i like this uh, pouch here in the middle i like the smaller 20 inch by 3 rear wheel so you have uh, lower level so it's more balanced and you have 26 inch in the front with suspension so the bike rides very comfortable good quality wooden panels on the foot pegs and here in between easy to connect all the accessories. I forgot to add a very important thing. We have CST puncture resistant tires, which will avoid the hassle of taking the wheel off and patching the tube or the tire, which no one's enjoying fixing that. This model comes with the Novatec through front axle hub, which really makes things easy. Let's say if you wanted to load it in your truck or your van or your car, removing the front tire, it's so fast and easy. It's well executed, really good quality, very sturdy, very strong frame really feels comfortable. I would only get aftermarket seat post suspension here and this will be even better than it actually already is. Beside the suspension, there's nothing else I'll change here. This bike, it's perfect. Comfortable, powerful, reaches 25 miles an hour, very powerful torque. We can add here a water bottle or add accessories to hold. UL certified battery, which is right here, UL 2849 which is really big and important for the city of New York, which now is doing a crackdown on their bikes and they refuse access to the buildings, to the public spaces. Having this UL certification allows you to go on the public spaces in the buildings with no problem, which is really big, especially now 
when there's so many fires in New York City, so many accidents, so many issues. The only one thing that I don't like here is the wiring, which I have to work on. Uh, this side, it's very nicely done and goes inside. This one, I have to work on this. I don't like this uh, construction here. It can be done a little better. So I'll try to organize that, but it should come out of the box uh, already fixed and better presentation. I like that the wires are running into the frame, but besides that, uh, it's pretty perfect, guys. So when you hit uh, 24, 25 miles an hour, the assist is so powerful that you actually, you know, kind of like ghost pedaling. So the motor really refined, enough power, 1200 watt peak, and it feels like it's more. If you are fit and you like to, you know, get more power, there's room here to put a bigger chain ring. If you want to do that, this little space here, maybe half an inch more, or you can actually raise this higher very nicely encased this uh, chain here with the spacer and the auto shifter in the back but you can do that the way it's set up now if you have no load or let's say under 75 pounds close to 100 when you hit 24 25 you go pedaling it's too much power coming from the motor but if you're fit again you can put the bigger one but let's say if you have 200 plus pounds uh, I actually tested it and it's perfect there's no more ghost pedaling, it's very comfortable and it's enough power in the fifth level to really climb hills and do very well on the flats. So very comfortable pedaling, you're not really pedaling hard, it's enough power coming from the motor. Overall, if you look closely, all the parts, highest quality shifter, grips, you know, screws, hardware, accessories, very well done. And this bike, it's only priced $19.99. If you look at the quality and you move the, the brand and you compare it to Bosch bikes, uh, and other high-end like Miller, Velo and other brands which cost six thousand seven thousand dollars this is a steal this is a third of price very close to that but price so much lower very fine motor this is not your regular stock 750 watt motor they find uh, like Bifang it's probably Bifang motor but it's much better done more refined um, and branded Velotrek so really nice action feels really smooth and enough power to tackle pretty much uphill flats or any terrain you ride in the city. This is the steepest hill I have in my area. I have a little bit under 100 pounds on the frame. Starting at the bottom with 19 miles an hour, the bike maintained consistent speed without dropping much, getting to the top at 17 miles an hour. I'm pleased with the quality, presentation, design, and the most important for me is the comfort. This is the most comfortable cargo electric bike I've tried so far. I had my friend this morning, he weighs about 210 pounds and uh, the bike performed with no issues. I could have loaded more weight and it'll do perfectly fine. So amazing performance, good presentation, and the most important, the price. But now being on sale for $17.99, the launch uh, sale of $17.99, if you're looking for a cargo bike, this is a very good opportunity to grab this awesome deal for 200 bucks less. I tested so many Veltric bikes for the last one year and a half, and if you look in the comments on those videos, the only complaint people posted that you get puncture tires and you have to carry an extra tube so you don't have to, you know, push a heavy bike. Everything else works perfectly. They have a good customer service, fast response. If you have any questions, any concerns, they follow up right away. Really like this brand, a good quality product so check it out the link will be down below in the description box thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time